to the vegans of Instagram. And I think this one will be kind of on the shorter side, but you know, we still got some stuff to look at. So we're going to start with the arm of one of Ellen Fisher's kids. I think this is her daughter, Scout. And I don't know if Scout has Lanugo. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she has a lot of like arm hair. And sometimes uh, people that are cold because of a malnourishing diet or people that are anorexics, they will typically grow a lot of like fine hair on their body. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know. Ellen Fisher and her husband don't seem to be this hair. I don't know. Maybe her husband is. I don't know. But I don't know. Let me know what you what you think. Can kids get Lanugo from being on a vegan diet? I don't know. See that? That's her arm. Scout's arm. Okay, apparently, uh, what's his name? Dr. Douglas Graham entered into some competition. He won in his age class for weightlifting, and he's, how old is he, 70-something? Good for you, Dr. Doug Graham. Okay, this man is obviously very excited about his book, The Impactful Vegan, how you can save more lives and make the, dif the biggest difference for the animals and the planet, and he looks just so happy. Wow. Healthy by Wendy. Uh, she has a really, really, really strong filter here, but still, she's just always going to be spooky, at least to me. Always. Filter ain't really helping. Okay, me training hard to be a good example of a vegan. So, um, something that stood out to me about this vegan was that, okay, he has big muscles, right, but his eyes look super tired. And I don't know if this one ever, uh, made my possible steroid radar go off. I, I don't know. Because his, uh, this... This muscle right here, I think somebody said it's called the traps, trap muscles. They're very flat and small. So to me, he doesn't really look like a steroid user, but then he showed his blood test and it said he had like low testosterone or somebody said he had low testosterone. I don't know if it's true. I didn't look up the testosterone reference ranges, but he obviously still has some muscle in his body, but this area kind of looks pretty small. And I've seen this on other vegans that don't look steroided. They, uh, they're they able to build some biceps and have some abs and stuff, maybe some pectoral muscles too, but then they're, this area is just, you know, it's just flat right above their clavicle they got, got the clavicle and they got like an inch of space where they have they're very flat and trapped so he didn't, didn't look steroid to me i don't know if i ever thought he looked steroid maybe i did but i don't i don't think i did he doesn't look steroid he looks like a a vegan okay do i write or share these posts where i'm going to read through each one the first one says like i've always said the last 10 years any young fresh face looking girl can go absolutely viral in a week if she plays it right unfortunately for her she has no she has no message product service, so won't make any real money from her absolute top tier viral trend right now. If she had OnlyFans set up, she would probably made 100000 to 1 million USD this month. <laughs> oh, just do OnlyFans, you know? Just do OnlyFans. You go viral for something stupid or being funny. I, I don't know what this video is. Uh, You know, maybe she was doing something that would make him think that she's open to OnlyFans, but the overall message here seems to be like just do only fans okay okay uh this is a meal from i think it's from like raw food for treat or something like that it's just lettuce a couple strawberries i don't know what the heck that is it looks really weird and some zucchini after you eat this you're gonna feel like you just had like a quarter of an appetizer <laughs> uh this lady is talking about carnivores you can't get b12 or a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids from plants vegans hold our nooch i mean i'm pretty sure there is plants out there that maybe has all nine is there a plant out there that has all nine essential amino acids i thought they said quinoa has it or something but nooch is uh not a plant but you know it's a vegan food but it's not a plant get fit with natasha why did i oh i know why i saved this post <laughs> um sometimes when i see her and freely and some of these people i'm like what do people be doing in australia with their outfits like she has in this like grayish uh outfit Right? It looks like a fitness outfit. And then she has all these like, tan colored loafers with socks. <laughs> I mean, the pointed toe shiny shoes with <laughs> I don't, I just don't know. I don't know what to make of it. Um, but then again, I've seen her wear all types of weird stuff and wearing like a cream colored dress with bright white 1960s boots on. Like, you know, who knows? Who knows? Oh, here goes this vegan AF lady again. Seven years vegan, still waiting to die from protein deficiency while suffering from zero migraines, acne, or chronic sinus infections, and endless energy. Okay. 
good for you. Who said a vegan is going to die from protein deficiency? Maybe if they're a kid and they're starting to get quashier core, that could be possible. But as an adult, your body's just going to break down its own muscle tissue, right? You ain't going to die from protein deficiency. At least you're just going to suffer. Um, this is a raw vegan family at some type of a gathering of some kind of these people. And look, this baby, this baby is over it. This baby is over it. He wants out or she wants out. Sorry. It's a girl. Carolyn Deisler um, made another one of these behind this body post. The I can't really express to you how disgusting and irritated it makes me to hear her right behind this body as if people are looking at her thinking, oh, what does she do? What's behind her body? Like, that's how you know you're at some extreme level when it comes to your weight and the, your appearance. Behind this body is someone who eats 15 dates every day. No one cares. Disgusting. I just feel like it's, it's really self-absorbed, ED, and disgusting. Oh, behind this body. Like, who cares? Yuck. I'm disgusted. I'm sorry. And I, th I just feel like there's people that's going to be watching this and not going to understand, like, why are you so annoyed? Yeah, she's just saying behind this body, she eats a lot of dates, but it's just so annoying. It's just getting under my skin. I would never be up here and be like, oh, behind this body is this, 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 and this. Even if I was skinny, even if I had like a super nice body, it was just disgusting and, and yucky and anarchy. Sorry. Then, <laughs> Erin Ireland going shopping for vegan crap. I mean, literally like vegan crap. Where are all the vegans say, oh, you're doing it wrong, buying Beyond Meat and all this Beyond Chicken, all this crap. All this processed crap. She eats all this and she still looks like a zombie. Eat, move, rest. Um, This is Max's cousin. And Max, I don't know if y'all watch my other channel or have seen some other posts about Max and his cousin, but it's like... His cousin is growing up, like he's growing really rapidly, he's growing, developing normally, and Max is still so dang on tiny. Like everybody looks so nice in the family, everybody looks so nice, and then the kids look like, you know, you just picked up some peasants, some hungry orphan peasants, and just try to put some clothes on them and take a picture with them real, real quick. I don't know, something about the nutritional quality of the diet makes them look impoverished, even if they are dressed up nice. And Max ain't growing, look at his cousin, don't his, don't Aaron and Dusty get surprised every time they visit family and his cousin is just shooting up and he's getting so big every time you see him and Max still so daggone tiny still at Aaron and Dusty's hip for years I'm sick of it okay this is that anorexia vegan girl writing posting what I eat as a vegan doesn't give you the right or qualification to diagnose me with an eating disorder oh sorry but you I mean maybe she eats but she um she's so thin it's like are you not absorbing the food or something like that because well, actually, when I look at her food, it seems like her diet is pretty much based around bread. Like, she'll eat noodles, bread, cookies, uh, more cookies, bread, bagels, stuff like that. That's, like, her entire diet. But if you eat a, a bread diet, you're basically on a peasant diet. So, maybe it's not anorexia. Maybe it's just, like, a peasant diet malnutrition thing. And this is, you know, this the effect that it's having on her. You're, you're not getting enough protein. That's very, very, very obvious. You would have some like thigh muscle. Your knee wouldn't be the biggest part of your leg if you had um, some protein. You would have like a quad muscle or something like that, but you don't have anything. Look at Carolyn Deisler. All this is, this sums up Carolyn Deisler in a nutshell. All she cares about is this. Meanwhile, her baby can't even walk yet. And her baby is like almost about to be 18 months. Can't even walk on her own. Freely share this post. I guess it was this girl's birthday. Uh, I think they're both probably vegans. To me, they both look like women whose ovaries have dried up before their time. Like, let me zoom all the way in for the people that may be watching this on their phone. They look young, old. They look dry. And so I had to go over to Zeus Kalite's channel because I was like, Zeus Kalite, ain't she around the same age as Freely? Like, maybe like a year or two younger. Because Freely made videos criticizing her back in the past. And I, every time I look at Freely and think, oh, maybe it's just because she's like 40 something. But I look at Zeus and she still has this like radiance and this glow and this like feminine look about her. These ladies look dry and and anemic and deficient it's very sad because they both could look amazing but they want to eat uh looks like salad i don't know what the hell that is. what is that i have no idea and like shredded <sighs> cabbage i don't know what the heck they're eating okay so this man uh he makes this channel called not makes this channel. <laughs> he has this channel called healthy vegan living or something like that is that what it's called i don't know and I was like, oh, that actually kind of looks looks good. You know, that looks good and refreshing for the summertime. So he actually made something that looked like it tastes good. Wow. I think I got an, another post in here where he made something look nasty, though. <laughs> uh, this lady, this is a pregnant vegan lady. So maybe this is why she's eating this really random plate of zucchini, watermelon, and tofu scramble. Like, I don't get it. My brain doesn't understand. It seems very, very random, but okay. Plantarotic 
Noemi loves her leche already up to 300 grams. Uh, did they have another baby? Did they have a second baby? I don't know. I hope this baby's okay. I don't know. I don't know. Is the baby premature or something? I don't know what's going on. And he needs to keep his his hands away from the babies because he always has like dirt deposits under his nails and he putting his hands all on the babies and stuff. You know, wash your hands, man. Okay. I actually they're cutting grass outside. Oh well. I um I cropped off the faces, okay? Because we're not talking about the actual people here, but why do vegans always have to overstate everything? Coming soon, such and such is literally the more beautiful and kind in person. She is stunning and the most healthiest looking person I've ever met. This person, I'm not going to name the person, but they said that about so many people. Oh, this is the most healthiest living. You're the most healthiest person I've ever seen. You're the healthiest. She said this about so many people. It is so funny at this point. She's the healthiest looking person I've ever met. What about the other guy that was the healthiest looking person you ever met? Another girl that was the healthiest person you ever met. Another lady that was the healthiest person you ever met. Huh? Everybody can't be the healthiest person you ever met because then it doesn't make any sense anymore. Okay, Dorian Ryder, again, he's been posting a lot of stupid stuff, I guess. So I'm going to explain what happened in the video. People probably have already seen this. I think it maybe went viral or something. But the baby, this might be the mom and this might be just some other uh, monkey. But he's saying both are female. I don't know if that's true. But the baby went over to this one and then she like slapped it or pushed it away, right? And then this one, which probably was a mom, like took the baby under her arm and was just like holding the baby. Okay, so Dorian Ryder writes, Baby rabies affects all female mammals in the same way. The urge to create more babies regardless of their future certainty, regardless if orphan babies need help. Not my kid equals not my problem. Baby rabies, the urge to create babies. Um, I don't think that animals, look, this is why vegans need help. <laughs> they put human qualities onto animals. I don't think the animals have the desire to create babies. They have the desire to mate, basically. And then when the babies come, then they, they deal with that and they have it um, wired into them to take care of and nurture their offspring and sometimes they'll you know eat their own young and kill their own young but really they have the urge to mate they don't have the urge i don't think animals understand that mating is what leads to babies <laughs> unless uh oh my gosh i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry for that loud noise outside i just want to get this video done but unless somebody can prove me wrong or know something different but i don't think that animals really make the connection between okay if i mate or this person mates with me then i'm gonna get pregnant and i'm gonna have a baby and it's gonna be their baby like i don't know if they really make that connection anyway Baby rabies is nature's way of keeping populations going. So baby rabies is not, um, the desire to have babies is not what keeps populations going, okay? What keeps populations going is the urge to mate. Not no baby rabies. Human population needs to be more. We haven't polluted every bit of, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm in the video, not in the video. <laughs> in this clip, I'm looking at these monkeys. Stop thinking that monkeys and animals are out there knowing that they want to have babies. They don't know that. They have the babies and then they're happy when they have them. Some of the animals some of them don't like the babies, but they're not thinking, oh, I really, really want a baby. Let me mate so that I can have this baby. No, they want to mate because their hormones are telling them to mate. All right. Like I said, unless somebody knows different, unless somebody knows that there's some way that we know that animals are thinking about having young when they mate or they just think about mating. Some wrote, this is one of your interesting stances since it's so difficult, requires much energy and time to raise a human child. I would only do that if it was my own or maybe I'd fall in love with a single mother and help her out. I think not. We used to have 140 million orphans and millions of kids working to make textiles and cave into baby rabies. Okay, so that doesn't really have anything to do with uh, animals. I, I don't even think this video is even appropriate to talk about baby rabies because wouldn't all the animals just love babies and stuff? This one and slap the baby away. She don't want no damn baby in her face. <laughs> them animals don't get no baby rabies they end up with the babies and the females have it wired into them to nourish and look after their young because if they didn't then their species would die out so the, the females that are have it wired into them and the genetics to see that little baby and be like oh i should take care of it and, and put it on my boob and nurse it and all that their children are going to survive and pass down probably those traits and characteristics but they're not saying oh i want a baby no sorry during writer okay so this Raw vegan PB and J sandwich. <laughs> oh, look at that. It looks like ketchup and cat food on stale uh, concrete. Oh, man. It looks horrible. But he said this so called bread takes 15 minutes to create or something weird like that. Like, how do you make this in 15 minutes? Don't you got to put everything in the dehydrator when you're a raw vegan? I don't know. Like, what is it made out of? I guess you have to buy the book in order to find out what this gray substance is. 
Look at this. Is this like bread? Zoomed in on bread? Or does it look like some type of a tundra? Looks like we zoomed all the way in and we're looking at like Siberia or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Very weird. Next post. The, yeah, the raw vegan, uh, not raw vegan, healthy vegan eating page. He made the salad. The salad looked good. But now he's making nut free juice pulp cream cheese. Why don't you just stick to making salads? This is supposed to be cream cheese. It's literally hemp seeds or sunflower seeds, cannellini beans, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and juice pulp. And you you just throw in anything together at this point. You just throw in anything together. It don't even look smooth. <laughs> it looks all up being gross. Like what the heck? What the heck? You just saying juice pulp. You didn't say what type of juices is like beet juice or something like that. It's gonna taste like acidic, lemony beans and seeds. It ain't gonna taste like cream cheese. And especially if you got a pinkish cream cheese, you're gonna think it's probably gonna taste like some strawberry cream cheese. But no, it's gonna taste like beans and lemon. Nasty. Okay, Emu Rest said they took their kids to the dentist and they're all good. No cavities. Great. You need to take Max to a bone specialist and a uh, speech therapy specialist. Okay, Erin was pushing this thing. And, like, I've never done this before, so I don't know how difficult it is. But she was pushing this thing and um, somebody let me know. Is it really, really difficult? It didn't have any weights on it. It was just like empty. And she was able to push it for about, I'd say about 10, 11, 12 seconds, somewhere in there. And then she she was tired. You know. So is it like really, really difficult? Like, because it doesn't look difficult, but I don't know how much friction is in the carpet and stuff, you know, to push this thing. Um, Fisher Eats is having a, some type of a retreat. People actually go to hang out with these people and pay money. They probably got to pay thousands of dollars to go hang out with these people. Salad bar is ready, which means it's time for dinner. A salad dinner. How sad. Olivia has this baby. The baby looks, you know, pretty healthy now. Hopefully everything continues to go well, but... From what I've seen, as soon as these kids stop nursing and they're just subjected to the parent side, I think the parents are raw or close to it, is when the kids start to go through some type of a decline. Or if the parents have a second baby and then their uh, their breast milk, the baby's breast milk is not baby, the young child. Because if they have another kid, I've seen it when the kid gets like three, two, three-ish and the vegan mom is still nursing, they'll have another kid. And then, then you can still start to see the decline because the milk supply is uh, mostly being given to the baby and, you know. They're not getting everything they need anymore. Not that they ever were, but they were getting more than they would have if they were, um, you know, the, the mom is vegan. So the kid ain't going to ever get everything they need. But at least that's as close as possible to get the mom's breast milk. Haley and I declutter and organize my kitchen storage room. Best feeling. <laughs> Carolyn Dyser wrote this. Haley didn't do anything. Haley can't even stand up and... Uh, a lot of babies that are probably like around 18 months, they can probably help a little bit, maybe... You know, you can probably hand them something and say, oh, can you hand me that? Maybe they'll understand. But Haley didn't help you with anything. She sat still in one spot while you did this. She was well behaved, which means that she was not able to move because she can't physically move very much. And you did this. And she probably sat on the counter. You didn't even have to worry about her falling off or anything because she can't move. Uh, this is a vegan breakfast. Okay, let's go from left to right. Okay, is this supposed to be cream cheese? I mean, it looks better than the other one. Or maybe it's supposed to be vegan butter. That's a lot. It's a lot of oil and bread. Okay. The waffle. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is this? Is it supposed to be vegan bacon? I don't know. It just, is this supposed to be bacon and waffles? It looks like toy food. It looks like a, some type of a great, like, very, very sad. Dog treats and a, another dog treat. <laughs> uh, this vegan AF lady says, this is going to upset some of my fellow vegans, but I'm sorry, I don't like sweet potatoes. If you don't like sweet potatoes, then why are you eating a plate with sweet potatoes on it and making faces and stuff being all dramatic? I don't get it. If you don't like it, then don't eat it. I don't understand. I would never be making a video like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't like this, you know, if I eat meat. But what if I didn't like steak? And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't like steak. And then I'm up here eating a steak and making faces and stuff. Like, you vegans will say, oh, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> don't eat it. Stupid. Carolyn Dyser. I'm assuming this is her husband, right? He's clearly eating meat in a well-rounded, normal diet. Meanwhile, he's completely neglecting. Look how bony her arms are. The stupid mom. This is very, very sad. It's like, maybe he's too young to... I mean, he can't be that young because she's like in her 30s, so he got to be close to it too. Like, maybe he just doesn't know when the baby is, you know, the woman's responsibility. And Carolyn got it, you know, but... 
I, I just feel like there's no excuse for you to not be paying attention as a father to your child's growth and development and to be noticing whether or not your baby's making milestones. I mean, I understand that usually the children are the woman's responsibility primarily, but that doesn't mean you just don't do anything. Cause that's all I see him doing is nothing. I don't see him doing anything. He's not even sneaking his baby a little bit of yogurt, nothing. Cause the baby would be doing way better if he was. So it's making me sick. This lady did a 40 day juice blast or juice cleanse. I guess she's drinking noxious green juices for 40 days. Um, do you think this is like an improvement? All I can see is that your skin went palish bluish and it doesn't look like you have a nice healthy tan anymore. Your skin looks like more vegan. So I guess good for you. Uh, okay. I think this is the last post, um, raw vegan rising. I guess he got people over there doing juice fast and look at this poor man. It's time to give it up. Look at his lip color. Time to give it up. Why are they doing this to themselves? And you got raw vegan rising over there t pushing these people, telling these people to fast, 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 right? You can look at this man and tell raw vegan rising is not juice fasting for 40 days. He's not juice fasting. I don't even think he's raw vegan or even vegan in the first place. He's doing this to make money. Okay. This is what you look like when you do a juice fast. And you're going to sit up there and listen to raw vegan rising tell you to not eat for weeks. You want to listen to him? Meanwhile, he's sitting up there eating. He's eating. Okay. He probably got fish and salmon in his refrigerator and charging y'all thousands of dollars to be in his group where he tells you it is not easy. So you can look like this. I believe Shane Sterling to be a full-blown, just flat-out liar trying to start a cult. But anyway, that's it for this Vegans of Instagram. You can let me know what you think in the comments. It actually ended up being longer than I thought it would, but 